Good morning, friends, and welcome to the vlog. Um, I'm going, well, I'm driving to my hair stylist, my colorist, and yeah, I, it has passed three months since my last visit, and here we go. We need to get this grace cover and hair done. Auntie! <laughs> what are you doing, Auntie? So we are doing a teasy foil. We're doing a full, so I'm starting in the back, and then we're going to work our way to the front to get her nice and blonde. Yeah. She's the queen of blondes. That's, you're the queen of blondes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see the back. You're just here for good fun. It's over before it's begun. So don't let me fall for the figment of mine. You're so serious. You're so serious. <laughs> what is that when you're filming me? <laughs> <laughs> wow, we did it! Well, you did it! <laughs> Not me, she did it! <laughs> you did it with me! You sat through it! <laughs> what it be like to okay, be and here is my hair! Wow! I feel so blonde! Like naturally blonde! I can't be wish! <laughs> uh, I just love how my hair turned out! I think you see so healthy! She did a really good trim! My hair was down to like to my waist and she cut it I mean, she cut a pretty good chunk right now it's right not even below but right by my you know you know <laughs> right by my chest yes and super soft she did just a few layers not too many and yeah we're gonna just let it grow again it just needed a little bit of um, trimming and I think that's good because that will give me another three to four months to actually let it grow oh no it's gonna start raining <laughs> and then my hair will be ruined and I need to get ready because today is my son's birthday and we're gonna go for dinner so I'm gonna take you there so I just need to do my makeup and get going but yeah this is this is how it turns out really nice not brassy at all the color is not too super soft i mean i can feel my hair is not dry either yeah and then the haircut refreshes and said and like i said usually i do this about three to four months like for example my last appointment was november right now we are just i mean the last day of january so february so what is that three months yeah so every three months now in terms of how much does it cost i don't want to really share that much about the cost of it because obviously like say you decide to i don't know come one day here and want to do your hair and they price you differently it obviously depends on the stage of your hair how much work how much time and whatnot i will tell you you need to take about i mean this process takes about three hours and a half something like that i want to sneeze so badly so let's just go home and let me get ready do some a little bit of makeup on and let's go for dinner makeup is done we're gonna go to celebrate my son's birthday the makeup i will try to leave it on the description box you know but We had a great time with my immediate family just celebrating my son's birthday. It was so nice. It happened to be right at the middle of the week. So we didn't want to do too much. But this weekend, my son, he's going to go for a small trip with his cousins, which is great. He's going to buy a little bit of SPF. This is from... Charlotte Tilbury, this is really nice. 
I like it sometimes as a primer. It depends. It has to be the right foundation to go on top of that. And sometimes I just like it to use it all solo. It seems like it has a little bit of a tint, but it really doesn't. But it's just something quick up and go. And I do have a very busy start of the day. So I don't even know if I'm going to put any makeup right now or not. I'm going to be using this clay de Palm lip glorifier. It's a lip balm. Lips are chopped. Yesterday it was raining at night. It's supposed to rain today. I mean, I can see the clouds. But it may happen a little bit later on the day. So it should be fine. All oh, these lip glorifier feels so good on the lips. It doesn't leave them super shiny, but it's a really good lip balm. And while we're at it, my necessary hand cream. This is a necessity. During the winter times so when it's super cold, I get my hands really chapped. So I just have to have always some sort of hand cream balm at night too. And this is so good because it's not heavy. So you can still do the stuff and don't feel like you have too much on your hands. Oh, and by the way, today morning, <laughs> this is what happened. One of the nails pop out and I thought I had it here. Oh yeah, it's right here. So I'm just gonna glue it back. Oh my goodness, I know. I mean, they last for a pretty decent time, but you're gonna have to glue them back. You know, no matter what, it's not like you're having you know, a true acrylic nails that are gonna last you forever. And in fact, I was doing my to-do list. Let me show you. But first, let's clean a little bit of glue. Oh my gosh. This is not like crazy glue, but it's a really good glue. There you have it. So you just press for like 10 seconds. A little bit of water. Mm. Second glass of the day, which is great. But what I was going to show you is this Make It Happen Daily Planner. So you can just rip off each of the pages as you go along. It has a space to put the date over here. Then today I'm thankful for. I really practice gratitude all the time. It really sets your day or even the end of the day. Because for example, this daily planner, I get it full the night before. So then in the morning, I kind of like have a mindset. Sorry, <laughs> my phone is going to go into notifications like on and on and on. But it really gets me to that mindset of, you know, like a start and end my day with gratitude so when I do it at night then in the morning I read it and you know it brings me a smile and I think that's something super important sorry let me turn off my notifications because it's gonna drive me nuts <laughs> yeah so I already did my schedule for the day it doesn't seem like too much because I just need to call someone and then I need to send the logistics for I do have a wedding on February 17th that we're catering so I need to send all the logistics timeline floor plan etc to my team and then at 12 I need to pick up my daughter's car because it's having a oil change so not a big of a deal and then my top priorities goes here like top priorities is to respond to emails edit videos I need to edit videos and then create new menus for one of my restaurants I need to create the seasonal menu so my husband already gave me all the details of what he wants and I just need to design it so that's another thing I need to do then on my to-do list I need to respond to a wedding coordinator schedule a tasting for a bride um then give oh yeah give the menu so after I do the menus I need to give those files to my husband then oh I saw this morning that the new Dior I don't know the name I'm gonna put a picture right here there's a new Dior eyeshadow palette that is kind of like purple pinky tone just launch is the limited edition so I need to I not that I need to I think I want to order it I don't know, I just feel a little bit here and there on eyeshadows right now with Dior because the last few eyeshadows from Dior, they haven't really wowed me. They changed the formulation, so some of them are heat, some of them are misses. So that's that. I'm excited because of the color story and I know a few people that they are raving about it, so I have trust on them. 
<laughs> so, oh my gosh, I know. And then I need to post it also on Instagram. So people that follow me there too, they know that it's available and then I need to post it also on YouTube. If time allows and weather permitted, I need to also record the video for this new collection from Chanel. So perhaps when you're watching this video, I have already the review up of this baby. I say if time allows because, you know, I film in natural light. So right now it's not sunny, but I know it's gonna rain. So I'm gonna like check in the weather and see if I'm gonna be able or not to do it. And then this one right here, I may do just the two eyeshadows. I also need to place an Amazon order and I even make a note myself to place an order for the nail glue. I actually found a nail glue that has all five star reviews, more than I think 30,000 reviews and all of them like fabulous nail glue. So I wanna replace these since I'm using these nails right now. So I need to do that. Then, oh, it gives you a water lock for less to these, no excuses. So you can just kind of like mark your water intake. So very important, hydrate. Mm. Mm. I will be linking this daily planner also on my description box below. I got it at Amazon. I order a lot from Amazon. Well, not a whole lot, but just things that I, a whole lot, but things that I really need. And then it has a section for meal plan. And I think this is good to keep track of what I'm eating and see my intake on, you know, like sugar, carbs, and all of that. So I have coffee and eggs this morning, and then I'm planning to have asparagus with some sort of filet later on. And usually I'm eating only two meals a day. I'm trying to be not restrictive of my diet, but just not eating too much because I do have a little bit of issues digesting. So I find out that if I eat like two nice meals, usually I feel fine for the entire day. I'm putting my jewelry on before I forget. You know what? I have been loving these rings are from Monica Vinader and they don't come as a set. They come separate. So what I'm doing is like stacking them. So I use this one and then I stack this other one here. And it looks like, you know, like a bigger, more complex and dramatic or a statement jewelry piece. And then right next to it, this black one, I think it's perfect for winter time now. So there you have it. Those are my jewelry pieces. Okay, friends, let's just put all of these on the side. Oh, and then the last thing that I need to do is declutter something but we can do that right now so i have here a little bit of trash let's go really quickly every day if possible at least like 10 minutes to declutter something of some sort it could be you know in the pantry or like a drawer from my youngest daughter or whatever it is the case something that perhaps is in the garage and i i needed to fix and you know just donate it away so let's get rid of my trash the Chris Appleton Money Mask, incredible. That's what I use for my hair. A lot of people in Instagram ask me like what you use for your hair as far as hair mask. This is the baby that I use as well as the Sisley hair mask, the one that comes in the black tab. I'll put an image right here. I usually use that like, say my hair is really dirty and due for a, a wash and I have showed it to you a couple times like the past two years I basically put it all over my hair it smells amazing it doesn't look greasy and you can do a full like bun and hairdo with it or a sleek ponytail and um, I can use a hair mask from one full day until the next day and then when I wash my hair my hair will be really nice moisturized and beautiful so that's that and then this one gives me so much shine so that's gone I have gone through the BioTrue multi-purpose solution these are for my contact lenses this is an excellent excellent product I feel that my eyes they don't get dry then I went through a full SK2 facial treatment essence this is also a fantastic essence I use it right after I wash my face I splash this on and then with my face a little bit damp then I put my active ingredients I also have gone through the Oliva shampoo for brilliance and shine this is a great shampoo it does give that shine to your hair it leaves it super manageable and it doesn't weight it down either 
Then I have gone through the gel coat by Chanel. This is fantastic to give a beautiful gel-like shine to your nails. And if I will repurchase all of these products, yeah, so far all of them, yes, I, I will repurchase them. Same thing with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a great product. It will lock your makeup. It doesn't change the finish of your makeup. So you, if you have a matte look, it will keep it matte. If you have a glowy look, it will keep it glowy, so it's a fantastic product. I also use the Olaplex Number no. 9 Bone Protector Nourishing Hair Serum. This is fantastic too, so you can use it like after you take your shower, you just apply some of this serum and it will protect it so that you don't get split ends. It softens your hair, fortifies, makes your hair a lot more manageable, and it's also a heat protectant. Let's see, I also used the, the Paula's Choice 10% Niacinamide Booster. This is my favorite one of the Niacinamides from Paula's Choice. I tried the 20%, didn't like it. This, I have used it for years. And yes, it's always on repeat purchase again and again and again. It's really nice to soothe my skin. It helps me out with my large pores. And if I see any texture on my skin, it's amazing. Another thing that I finished is my Algenis Genius Liquid Collagen Lip. This is kind of like a lip plumper. It exfoliates your lips without any granules and it just make your lips look fuller. One of the things that I never skip before applying any type of lipstick is to exfoliate my lips, use a lip plumper. Right now I'm using the one from La Mer, but this one I have used it for years and it's something that I have a couple backups of it I'm not buying any more backups. I'm trying to just, you know, go through the products and then if I need it, then I will repurchase it. But yes, this will be something definitely I will repurchase. Then, okay, this one, I didn't finish it myself. This is the Tower 28 Concealer. This is one that Mia actually finished. She really loves the finish. But you see, she doesn't have the dark and dry circles that mom has. So this works a lot better for her. It's extremely thin. It has nice coverage, I would say a light to medium coverage, and again, thin, very gentle on the skin, and hydrating too. So I see why so many people like it, but it's too light of coverage for my needs. Other than that, okay, a couple more items. The Patrick Ta for Brows Major Brow Lamination Gel. Great product. You have to work a little bit fast with this, but it doesn't leave any white residue. What else? The oh, this is by Photozyme MD, the Omega 36 DNA Body Complex. It's a bioactive body lotion. It does have vitamins, peptides, and the DNA recovery enzymes. Very well known by Photozyme MD. I love this product. It's a really good if you're trying to target tone, texture, photo damage from the past. Like say if you have spot, I mean, this doesn't take away, obviously go and check with your dermatologist, make sure those spots are, you know, like normal, sun damage and whatnot. So this really helps out quite a bit. And I really love the texture, how moisturizing it is. I usually layer it with my Sol de Janeiro Bump and Cream. And talking about Photozyme MD, I also finished a DNA Youth Recovery. This is a facial serum. Again, the same property. It goes to the cell level and it starts repairing sun damage from the past, which is something really revolutionary. And I had been using it for over a year. I'm really happy with it because the sunspots, although they are not super, super diminished, I can see that they are not progressing and there is a little bit of fading. Sorry, the heater just went on, so if you're here like <laughs> then you know why. Okay, I got the Timeless Matrixel Sin 6 Serum. Great, great product too. This is a powerful peptide that really helps at improving your collagen. You know, we lose collagen as we start aging, so this helps a lot on that, and it has also hyaluronic acid. Bye-bye, and yes, I will repurchase. Then the Shantekai, the BioLifting Serum. You know, my friends, also this is a powerful peptide serum. <laughs> I have repurchased many of these, and I love, love, love it. I, I mean, I can see the difference on my skin when I do not use it. So this is definitely a must-have for me on my skincare. Usually use it in the mornings, and sometimes at night, it depends. 
And then the last thing is the Chantecai Rose de May Cleansing Balm. So this is a very light, gentle balm. I don't think it removes with easy, like a full face of makeup. Say if, for example, you just have minimal makeup, I don't know, like a tinted moisturizer, a little bit of eyeshadow, perhaps, I don't know, like a tubing mascara, <laughs> you know, like a little bit of lip balm, something along those lines, then this will do the job. Otherwise, it's too gentle. And I usually do a two-step cleansing, so I don't know. I don't think I will repurchase it, although gentle, really good. Again, if you use very minimal makeup, this will do the job for you in a very gentle way. Also, if you have sensitive skin, but I think no matter what, whether very little amount of makeup, if you're using SPF, you're gonna need to do the double cleanse no matter what. I do it no matter what. Yes, I will recommend it, again, if you are very, but very minimalistic with your makeup. So, all right, that was my trash, okay, friends? Let's get going here. I think because, well, it's too sunny right now. I don't know if to do that video first. I'm gonna respond to those emails, schedule the tasting, do all of that jazz, and then after that, Mm. I think I will be doing the video. <laughs> it is the end of the day. I was supposedly recording and I never hit record. There you have it. There you have it. So <laughs> I'm removing my makeup. Oh, what a long day. I still need to do a few more things. As soon as I put my youngest one to sleep, but look at this panda girl. If you're wondering, well, I was supposed to use my Florasis cleansing oil, but look at this, it's empty. Another product that goes to the declutter pile, well, the trash bin, in other words. And yes, it's something that I will repurchase over and over again. It's just so good. So right now I'm actually using the one by Clé de Paul. This was from a limited edition collection of last year, mm -hmm. but it's permanent as most of you may know. What is the difference between them? I think Clé de Paul has a little bit of a scent. They both do the same job, but perhaps by seconds. The one from Florasis will remove the makeup a little bit faster than the Clé de Paul, but like, like I said, if you're counting by seconds, <laughs> not really much of a difference. I like them both and I will definitely repurchase both at any point in time. So this is my first step on my nighttime skincare routine. Removing everything with the cleansing oil because it really breaks out all the SPF, foundation and everything so well. And then I go and wash my face once again. So. There you have it, nothing harsh, and just doing circle of motions, and that's it. The CeraVe facial cleanser. I still have my face a little bit damp, which is great. Now I'm gonna go with my Essence by Amore Pacific. I usually take my skincare all the way down, but because of this video, I'm just keeping it up here. And I'm gonna go with my La Mer La Treatment Lotion. This is so amazing good if you have never tried it. <sighs> highly, highly recommend that. It's such a incredible product. I'm gonna try for the first time this U Beauty Resurfacing Compound. I have heard the greatest thing about it and I received it a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna try it for, I will say a couple weeks and see how my face acclimates. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show it to you, but it came out a little bit, kind of like, um, it looked like a vitamin C serum. So it's suggested to do not apply it close to say the openings of your mouth, the side of the cross feeds too. It may be because, I mean, it's resurfacing. So I think it does have some different acids. The list is kind of long, but it doesn't say specific which acids. If I find them, I will put them right here on the screen. 
I just see these and now I'm going to go with the U Beauty, the Super Hydrator. So I guess you're supposed to use it as a duo, but you see it comes kind of like lotion-like. Oh, it's a little bit thicker too. Okay, that's nice. And this one, I know it has hyaluronic acid, panthenol too, or panthenol. Okay, it feels very nice and moisturizing. And to top it all off, I'm going with the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair. So this is not my typical nighttime skincare routine. I'm just going to try these products. I'm going to try these products. I stop everything else and I just use kind of like the bare minimum, no other actives, just to make sure that to really see if the product is working in any way. So what I have seen of the images is that the resurfacing compound really helps to diminish the sunspots. Now what I have been putting at night time on my neck and the collet area is the May Love Moonlight Retinal Super Serum. This is very very gentle. I'm really liking it quite a bit and look see this same kind of like bright deep yellow color. It was very much a light well no the UV resurfacing compound really look a little bit more orangey but anyhow I'm just putting these it looks like turmeric, <laughs> honestly, but it doesn't stain clothing and it does have a pleasant scent. And I'm just going to add this Neo Strata Neck Firming Cream. I'm going to take it down. And there you go. This is my simplified skincare routine for a couple weeks. I will give you a report back and see how it's working and if I feel that these two new to me UV beauty products are really worth all the hype. If I could tell you I would honestly no secrets between us, no it's just honesty.